Hello and welcome to TikTok Tuesday. It's that time, that day, once again. How y'all doing? I'm doing okay. Maybe. Kinda. I guess it really depends on how good the TikToks are this week. Did you guys come through for me? Let's see. Okay, it's the, uh, it's the first TikTok of the day, I promise. Economic inequality in the U.S. and Caribbean. Oh, hi, my name's Kayla. And hi. I'm Alex Alexander, and my concentration is economic inequality in the U.S. and Caribbean. Period. Hey, my name is Hayali, and I'm um, Alexander, and my concentration is spiritual healing. Spiritual <laughs> healing. Hi, my name is Eliel, and I concentrated in black storytelling. Hey, my name is Gabby, and my concentration is called Exploring Colonialism and Sustainable Oh, oh my god, all these useless degrees. Period. Outside of verbal communication. Period. Uh huh. What an incredible group of up and coming scholars, guys. I'm sure they will contribute greatly to our society. Listen, there's obviously a place for the arts. I don't want to go too far in the you have to do only STEM. You know, no, no, there's a place for the arts. But these people, man, sounds like I want to enjoy absolutely none of the media that they would produce. Yes, yes, I'd be happy to. What? So, I. Hold on. Can you explain your pronouns in your bio? We slash us. Got it. Yes, yes, I'd be happy to. Okay, explain it to so, us. So, I have slowly but surely been identifying less and less with she, her, hers, which were okay. my pronouns for years. Oh my God, she had your and pits, lady. for a while, I was like, I guess they, them, theirs, whatever worked for me. Whatever. But I realized that we're all so inherently connected that what makes me feel most validated um. is when I and when others use us and ours and <laughs> we. Like, it's I love your... that for us. Like, instead of I love that it's, for you, it's like, our I love stuff, that comrade. For us. And things like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It makes me feel really happy. And as often as I can, I strive to use collective pronouns. I do not want to be connected <laughs> to you in any way, lady. We are actually approaching Borg levels of self consciousness. I just feel more comfortable when I consider all of us to be the same person? Why don't you just like upload my brain into the hive mind, dude? I don't gotta be an individual. By the way, all your stuff is mine now too. <laughs> it's our stuff. Oh my God, okay. All right, unironic fucking communists. Who is it? Huh? Oh, ring doorbell? Oh, hi Dalton, it's me. Oh, hi grandma. Hi grandma. Hi. Let me in? <laughs> uh, no, I can't. I'm playing Rocket League. I just started the game. <laughs> Based. Well, pause it and let me in. You can't pause it. It's an online game, I lady. I pause it. It's an online ranked yeah. game. <laughs> well, what? tell your dad to open the door. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Is this staged? Is this Grandma's fake, guys? Grandma's in the backyard. Open the door for her. <laughs> I'm <He's> pooping. pooping. <laughs> well, I'm not waiting. It's like a two. Pooping's like two you minutes, lady. Just wait. Back later. Oh, forget it. I'm I'm out of here. You guys are crazy. <laughs> Bye. Love you. <laughs> the love you <laughs> as she walks away. Oh my god. Damn, what a giga chad kid. He knows what's going on. He knows what's important, guys. You can't leave a ranked match. It's the way of the world, Grandma. Get with the times. There's no audio on this one. Trigger warning, rape, okay. The second time I've had a dream about a family member raping me. They live in my house and I don't know how to face them now. What the fu- Wow, we're- We're starting strong today! Ho- This one's getting demonetized, dude, like, instantly. Maybe I should, like, edit this so that this is in the middle of the video so that no one knows. You know, that's, that's what I'll do. This wasn't the first one that I recorded, guys. Jesus, the file name is Wonder If She Got Off To It. Holy fuck! Why do you guys gotta name it that? Imagine going to jail and telling Whoa. your cellmates that you got shot by an 11-year-old. Okay, what's Only going on? 11-year-old Chris on, Gaither kid? was home alone Wednesday morning when he heard a noise. Someone mm -hmm. had broken into his house. Oh. Scared, Chris grabbed a 9mm handgun. <laughs> when he's come downstairs and Based. told me he's gonna kill me and F you all that. The intruder Damn, made it out the front door with a hamper in hand. That's when Chris a started hamper? firing off bullets. I shot through a hamper that he was carrying. It was a full metal jacket bullet. I went straight through the bag of him and was like, and he started crying like a little baby. I hope you learned a lesson from coming to this house trying to steal stuff. Damn! Dude! What is it with the kids today being gigachads in this? Like, yeah. 
I fucked him up. Yeah, I'm playing Rocket League. Man. Good job, kids. The youth are gonna be all right. So are you a top or a bottom? Bottom. <laughs> From what I understand, that happens so much in, like, lesbian hookups, sometimes gay hookups, definitely trans hookups, where they're just like, man, I just I just want someone to ravage me. And, like, neither of them are the ravaging type, so I guess we're playing Mario Kart tonight. <laughs> I'm unhealthy because I'm fat? Do you not fat? Literally, yes. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> Okay, that was too fast. I got, I gotta play that again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, I'm unhealthy because she's I'm not fat. fat. Literally, yes. But she is. Like, <laughs> Friendly fire will not be tolerated. Nice. Nothing like an older, fatter woman telling a young, thin lady that she's too fat. Look in the mirror, dude. And yes, I know how this sounds coming from me. Don't worry. I'm not out here being delusional about how fat I am. I get it, guys. <laughs> what the? Oh my God. <laughs> the ultimate short stack, guys. Like, hold on a second. This is going to be a bit uh, politically incorrect, but I don't care. Most, like, midget ladies are kind of unattractive. Like, this one is, you know, clearly a midget, but also she's she's pretty cute. Would you guys? Would you guys go for the short stack? That's another one of these secret things. I think Blonde told me that these were all, these were all fake. I don't know. Let's watch and try to determine for ourselves. So check this out. Look, you tell me something crazy, something your boyfriend's never found out, a secret you kept from your boyfriend, I'll give you $400 in cash. All right, let's hear the right secret. Now. Right now. But let's if it's not crazy, secret. I'm walking off and I'm keeping your secret. Ooh. Okay. You get one try. Okay. Let's okay. try. Let's okay. see. Let's see, guys. Let's so see. what's the secret? Um, so I'm bi, and my boyfriend and I started dating. It's been about a year and a half now. Mm -hmm. And he has a sister who's his age. And so one time we were at his house really, really late, but he had to go run out to pick up something for his mom. I don't remember. Did you fuck the sister? And then, so me and his sister were just hanging out in the living room. And we got to talking, and his sister is super, like, she's really, really pretty. Get to and, it. You fuck the sister. Um, Come on. We started, like, kissing a little bit, and we did end up scissoring and hooking up, and he has You guys what? We scissored. Okay. <laughs> and you had never told your boyfriend? No, he has no idea. Well, he Why? knows fucking now. No, I'm not. What am I going to say? Wait, is that considered cheating? Well, yes. Uh, yes, probably. Fuck as could be. Wow. You know what? Here. <laughs> you earned that say right now, but No, you get the money though, right there. Thank you. <laughs> I lost that words. I know. Yeah, I hope yeah. your boyfriend sees this video though. No, I hope he doesn't. Oh my <laughs> Please, no. god. Okay. How real do you think that was? Possible. I'd like to think it's real because she's cute. All these shenanigans and hijinks that all these people are getting up to when they're, you know, high school age or college age. It would be fair. I mean, I got up to my fair share of hijinks too, but like I was in college and like... 2007, 2009, whatever, you know, in, in that, in that time, there was definitely, you know, a, a thriving hookup culture, but I think it's really been blown up to the extreme recently, you know what I mean? So the hijinks gotta be, gotta be off the fucking scale nowadays. Anton, your sit is over, you know, no overtime. <laughs> okay, they planned that. That was cool though. Okay. You know what? I get it. I get it. Fun, fun, good job. Funny. That one was actually obviously a skit, but still, looked like a lot of fun to do. Here, let's end off with this one. And if you want a reason as to why the kids might not be all right, all we have to do is watch some of their teachers. Preparations need to come in thriving wages, not barely surviving. Okay, tell me about the crisis of capitalism and also probably Black Lives Matter or some bullshit. Let's let's hear it. Capitalism was built on stolen <laughs> the first land, word, capitalism. Stolen labor and stolen resources. Okay. And a check today could not um, undo the cumulative impact of generations of that stolen wealth in all of those categories. And so mm -hmm. I think it has to come in the form of land, labor, and resources in an ongoing fashion. And okay, there okay. are structures that we have that could be flipped to begin to do that just that reparations. What, what, um, what do you plan to fact, actually do? My opponent here mentioned five points and the corridor and what has happened to our businesses there. Part of what has catalyzed that um, exponential decimation of black businesses is the five points bid, the business improvement district. Okay, what's wrong with that? Which further steals um, from the community through taxation. And I think there's a model that could be redistributed. Instead of a bid collecting extra taxation 
from the black and brown businesses that are struggling, you could be collecting those extra taxes from okay, black there it is. businesses all over the city and re redistributing them <laughs> to black and brown owned businesses. So you're anti-capitalist, but only for white capitalists. And that's one way okay. um, in the business fashion. I think when we talk okay, what, about what are the nonsense we're gonna hear? Resources being returned. This is where consumer-owned or municipally-owned resources are important. Okay. Because we are locked out of uh, owning our control or over our basic needs like um, water or utilities or any of those things. There is a way. You, know, you still need to pay for that when you like, even if the municipal government runs it, you still got to pay for it. Ownership positions over our basic needs. I also really um, want to point out that the basic income project mm -hmm. uh, could be, if it were focused, uh, an important way to return a check to an individual in an ongoing fashion, but in its current format is not reparations or not close to reparations. One, it doesn't focus on black and brown people. Yeah. Two, so. what they are experimenting with is unhoused people, and it's not a livable or prosperous wage. It is a welfare wage and we know how yeah, black she work. she Those simply wants benefits to go to her race well, at the expense of other races she's just a fucking racist um, welfare wages and go to prosperous wages because we don't want to just survive more like preposterous jesus it fucking christ should not be survival it should be preparing the harm which is this entire economy that that was one of those clips where there was so much wrong with it but it was so self-evident and simple it's like, well, what do I say to this? Like, she's obviously just wrong and stupid. No, you shouldn't just be giving stuff to black people because they're black. Like, fucking hell, man. No modern black American has suffered from slavery. There is no reason to tax white businesses higher to give to failing black businesses. That's just, it's, it's so stupid. It's so dumb. Okay, that's it for today, fellas. I will see you guys uh, next time. Have a good one. I, oh, oh, hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a new video up over on the dev kit. The original Terminator from the 1980s was playing in theaters tonight. So Naomi and I went to go see that. It was a lot of fun. So after you're done watching this, go watch that. I'll see you over there. Have a good one, guys. I love you.